all right so in today's tutorial we want to look at how to import or read um, different data files in python using the jupyter notebook and we want to start with how to read or import um, text file in python using the jupyter notebook but first of all you have to ensure that you have this text file or the different data files in the folder where you have the python source file or the jupyter notebook so if i move to my current folder i have the um, python source file together with all the different data files i'm going to give a link so that you can basically download these different data files i'm going to leave it in the description of the video so that you can have access to it right so once you download this data files you have to paste it in the folder where you have this python source file or the jupyter notebook right so that's basically um, one way to do that or you can move to your um, jupyter notebook or right once you move to this um, where you have opened your python source file you can just use this option upload and basically if for instance this is your downloaded folder you just have to once you download you just have to um, highlight everything and open so that you can upload it so that it become part of your um, current working directory right so because i've already done this i don't need to repeat i just have to cancel everything All right, so now let's get started. So um, how to read or import um, the text file in Python using Jupyter Notebook. So first of all, you have to install some package known as the pandas package, which is very, which contains some functions that can help us to read or import most of the text files and other data files in Python, right? So we want to install, but we have to use a function known as the pip, right? This function, is basically the um, package installer for python it is used to install and manage software package so with this we'll say install and bring the name of the um, library which is pandas right so let me say this is going to be want to install sorry want to comment want to install the pandas library so this basically what this is the function we're going to or the code of line we are going to use to install this right i've already installed this so i don't need to run it again so i'm going to comment on that right and basically um let me move to the next line so shift enter okay so now what i want to do is that i want to um load so i want to load the pandas library so i'm going to say import um, pandas as pd this is just an abbreviation for this you can change it to ps any abbreviation of your choice right is that a shortcut for pandas so pd so let's import shift enter once it is done um, with the importation you will see the asterisk will be over and you see a number in this square bracket so it's still running So while we wait for it to finish with importation, we can, the next thing that we want to do is to basically read. Okay, so it's done. So you see a number in the square bracket, right? Okay, so now we want to read the text file, right? So um, let's give a name. So let's say I want to um, load, or let's say import the data set so let's give a name let's say it is going to be a text file so txt data right and we are going to use the pandas library so i'm going to use a shortcut instead of the full pandas so i'm going to say pd dot read underscore table right so this is a text file so i'm using read underscore table from the pandas library um, there is a function to help us to get a text file right and the name if you if i go to my um, working directory i have the text file data txt so i'm going to just write if this data with it with extension so i'm gonna have and it should be in string so i have to bring this and say data dot 
T X T. You can make a double quote or single quote, right? So let's run this. Shift Enter, right? So once it is done, we see a number in the square bracket. So we want to see the head. So let's say um, text data. Sorry, underscore. Right. Dot head. Right, I want to see the first five observations. So let's run this. And here we go. So in this data, we have the first variable to be gender. We have age and we have height, right? Maybe you want to get more info. So let's look at the structure of our data set. So this is basically to um, to view the first five um, observations, right? From your data set if maybe you want to see the last um, five observation you have to use tail so dot tail right so this is to view the last five observations right so let's run this so here we go so this given us the last five observations right but we want to look at the structure of our data set into details or we want to get more information from our data set so let's use um, um, text that data and say info right so with this we have to get more information from our data set so with this we will see that we have 30 entries right which is starting from 0 to 29 so we have 30 rows and the data columns is 3 so we can see the first one to be um, gender age and height right and okay so you can see gender is an object which is a character or, or is in a string form age is also 30 which is an integer and you can see how to be float right which is basically numeric so this is basically how to import or read a text file in python using the jupyter notebook